Oren Mixer didn't earn his fame on the back of an American quarter horse, but rather with both feet planted firmly on the ground and a paintbrush in hand. However, the Edmond, Oklahoma denizen does own and breed registered American quarter horses with numerous performance and race winners. Aside from his equine interest, Mixer raises longhorn cattle. The family is very fond of its prize stock. Mixer, like the breed he is so accurately captured on canvas, was a relative unknown in 1941, when Robert Denhart commissioned him to interpret the confirmation standards of horses shown in various snapshots for the newly formed American Quarter Horse Association. During the next 50 years, the artist, the breed, and the association developed impressive reputations. Today, there are few artists close enough to challenge Mixer's status as the world's most beloved equine portrait artist. He has immortalized AQHA's greatest horses, including Hall of Fame members Go Man Go, King, Leo, Peter McHugh, Three Bars, and Wimpy. This list does not even touch the scope of American quarter horse paintings he has signed his name to over the years, whether they be a world champion or simply a beloved member of the family. Born in Oklahoma City in 1920, Mixer, from a young age, dreamed of becoming an artist. However, the economic plight of the nation at the time seemed to make that an impossible dream. Fortunately, a former teacher interceded on his behalf and sent samples of his work to Kansas City's Art Institute, and they rewarded him with a scholarship. Two years later, Mixer hitchhiked to New York City, where he illustrated song sheet covers for a commercial art studio. But by 1941, he was homesick, so he returned to Oklahoma City. That same year, the artist saw his first magazine cover published, the April issue of Hosts and Horns. When World War II broke out, Mixer went to work for General Dynamics, later enlisting in the Navy, and was promptly transferred to Chicago to illustrate training manuals. While in the Windy City, his industrious wife helped him cart two oil paintings and one watercolor to a local department store to test their marketability. Mixer finally felt he might succeed as an artist when he sold two of the paintings that night. In 1945, the Mixers returned to Oklahoma, where they have resided ever since. The traveling Mixers fittingly settled along a stretch of Route 66 near Edmond. The family patriarch, at the age of 26, finally had a permanent studio and realized his desire to become an animal artist. Over the years, herds of American quarter horses grew along with demand for Mixer's paintings. The American quarter horse does not completely define the scope of Mixer's work, as he is equally adept at creating images of other breeds and species and people. He is responsible for the idealized breed portraits for several associations, as well as AQHA's famous image, which appears everywhere from association stationery to an affinity credit card. He enjoys working in numerous artistic mediums, makes his own original frames for his paintings, and constructs gate entrances featuring silhouetted figures cut from steel. Tonight, we elect him to the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. And one thing is certain, as long as there are good horses, Oren Mixer will want to consign them to history with the masterful strokes of his paintbrush. <laughs>